really, really cool. I'm gonna, really, really cool. I'm really excited. I found this bracket thanks to him. And then we take one of the ones that came in the kit and we put it internally. See, I have a problem. I bought the newest, most hyped up bike that Harley Davidson makes for 2022, the Lowrider ST. And I want a bike to be either, to be for sports, riding, and also touring. But I have a problem. Look at these touring options. Look at the amount of storage I get with, you see these bags? They're small by definition, they're small. I don't know if it will fit me enough to take on a one or two day trip. And even, the, even also the, the right one is smaller than the left one. So I definitely have a problem. I need way more storage and room for touring on this bike. Since the ST segment is a newer segment, Harley didn't put out any current solutions for longer touring rides. And the aftermarket is not ready set up. One of the solutions would be to put a rack in the back and load the bike with some bag. I don't know, I have to figure it out. Wherever I look, I can't find. So I did some research and found the perfect solution. I just got home. I have just got home. Oh, I can't see my address. My home is just, oh, I'm moving anyway. You can see I'm moving anyway. I just got home literally a few minutes ago and I got beautiful, beautiful box. Now I know what it is. Actually, by the end of this video, you can know exactly what it is. It's really exciting. It's going on the Lowrider ST and it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm gonna, really, really cool. I'm really excited. I was waiting for it. Hey, again. Alan, thank you so much. I'm really excited. Hopefully this works because this, if this is going to be cool, it's going to be a big deal for anyone buying uh, and owning an, a Lowrider ST. So I have this problem. How do I get more luggage, more storage on my Lowrider ST? Well, the ideal would be to be able to put a full-size tour pack, like a bagger tour pack on this bike. The only problem is currently I can't find anywhere some kind of a rack that would accommodate the full-sized uh, tour pack. But that's until uh, I stumbled upon a one guy that has the Lowrider ST that was able to locate a sports glide rack that would fit on the Lowrider ST. And on top of that, I'm going to try and mount a tour pack. So I reached out again to Advan Black and asked them to color match this gunship gray with a chop tour pack. Right now, I'm gonna install whatever's needed, the hardware needed to accommodate the tour pack on this bike. Obviously, I'm gonna start with removing, removing the saddlebags. So to those of you that are new to the bike, wanna remove the bags, actually it's very easy. Pull, spin, and you see this coming off. Now the bag is ready to be, pull it back. Slides back, and then just comes off with this piece. Same thing on the other side, and it's off. You see the sizing? Uh, the one on the right, that guy, is smaller. I mean, it's bigger than that guy. And what do we have over here? That's the Advan Black gift that I just got from Alan. Actually, I got it from Advan Black. Alan helped me out with it. Matter of fact, I already did this yesterday and in the house. I was so excited to get it. Ta -da! This is actually, this is the first time on video that I know of that uh, Advan Black is trying out this color match. This is the tour pack and the saddlebags. Let me tell you, it is almost, almost 100% uh, match. I don't want to say 100% because it's not, I think, the tour pack is slightly, slightly darker, slightly darker, not significantly, only really try to look at it very, very carefully, but it's not 100%, extremely close. I'd say 99%. Now what I'm looking at it from here, from this angle, it seems that this is a little bit lighter before it looked a bit darker. So I think there's a lot of play. Now when I look at it from here, it looks exactly the same match. So I think there's a lot of uh, shades and different uh, angles where I look, now they look exactly the same. So it's very hard to tell if it's a perfect, like 100% match. Once I mount it on the bike, I'll be able to see if it's exactly the same and how close it is. Up till now, everything was pretty easy. The biggest obstacle that I came across was, how do I mount this onto the bike? Advan Black currently does not, does not make the rack that fits onto the bike and to the tour pack. 
I'll have a link down by the description where I was able to find it. I found it on Amazon and it's it's almost a complete 100% fit. It needs a slight modification to get it onto the docking hardware. So let me install it. I'll show you uh, the installation right now. So this, I'll give credit to the YouTuber uh, that I actually saw his video and I'd like to thank him. I forgot his name. I'm gonna put him right up over here. He's got also a Lowrider ST started doing some nice videos on it. And he used this mount this bracket uh, and he mounted a different tour pack I didn't want to use I wanted to use this the real full-size tour pack he did something like a smaller tour pack but I got the idea uh, I found this bracket thanks to him so the pack includes the actual uh, docking hardware I didn't need to buy a uh, Harley hardware and uh, we're gonna install that on the bike and the, I'll show you the, the modification needed apparently these rubber grommet they don't fit properly on the dock uh, on the docking hardware so we'll need to cut this up to chop this up a little bit so it fits properly. I'm gonna start with the bike. Obviously blue Loctite, everybody in the comments likes to write about that a blue Loctite is needed, thank you. <laughs> the mounting kit comes with two, I would say, what are these, like bushings? like this and two bushings like this. They are a little bit different. You can see that the opening or there's a smaller gap over here than over here. You wanna use the wider, the wider gap in the front, right here, both sides. And the way it goes, it goes internally. I'm using the same bolts, I didn't change anything. I took the Harley hardware, I just took this sleeve. I'll show you on the other side. So you see how this, this part is, is built up of two sleeves, inner and the outer. We don't use this one, we keep this one. And then we take one of the ones that came in the kit and we put it internally. Then it goes in here, it goes back in. So that is the final outcome. Internally, it's the black new one that we just got. Both sides, on the other side, same thing. I'll just do the two back ones as well. This one out, put this one internally in. There you go. Well, so apparently there's actually no problem whatsoever. I guess the guy before me that did it didn't put the proper bushing in the right place. So if you put, follow as I said, and put the wider bushing the wider black bushing in the front, you'll have no problem. The rack is gonna slide right into place. As you see a little bit forced, not a lot, and it's seated in place. Now I'm gonna drop it down and it's, and it's in. How nice is that? Now there's one very important thing I didn't, I didn't tell you and it's very important. If you want this uh, rack and tour pack to work properly, you have to take care of the license plate. As you know, stock license plate comes uh, when it's straight up, straight up. And if you don't drop that license plate to be flat down or on an angle. And by the way, that's something I did in the last video. I, I got that part from Custom Dynamics. So I'll also have a link down by the description for a Custom Dynamics, a lay down plate it's called. That is the upgrade I did before. So just before you do this whole tour pack, you have to take care of this a license plate. And as you can see, it's sitting properly. So let's go ahead and mount that rack onto the tour pack. Let's sure you've seen already a tour pack installed. If not, I have a tour pack, an Advan Black tour pack installed on Electra Glide Standard that I just installed in Vivid Black. Let's see what they have over here. Advent Black already sent out the tour pack lined with a black liner with a black stitching like I asked them to. And inside, what do we have? The standard backrest. And it comes with the hardware and sticker and bolts. And 
washers and everything else. The metal plate, this metal plate mounts over here under, under the liner. I'm not gonna go through it again because I already have a video that I did like two. That's it guys, I tightened all, all four bolts. Both sides are in. On the bike, it looks pretty, pretty cool. Looks, looks, uh, it looks like it fits. It looks like color matched. Absolutely. Bolt studs. had a lot of spare bolts that I didn't use well the way it goes is this one goes in the front on the bottom then it slides forward and that's it and lower the red tab and it's done make sure that it's locked over here and you're good back in place right there it's done let's do the other side and then do a walk around So that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video my fellow uh, lowrider st owners i know there are very few of you but if this helps you and you actually were searching for somewhere to increase your uh, traveling you increase your luggage hauling capability check out the advan black tour pack link down by description or just go to their website and for the way to mount that tour pack onto the lowrider st there's a link down by the description an amazon part as you've seen me install it that is the solution. Now you can go for long trips. This stage, I want to thank you all for subscribing, guys. Oh, just a quick note, just before you go, head over to my website, holyshift.us. Their last few days for the, for the Sportster Iron 883 raffle, it's gonna be raffled in the next few days. Go ahead to the website. Thank you for watching. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift, guys. Till the next video, peace out.